of all, I really enjoyed all your performances. Uh, really, really spoke to me in a lot of ways. Um, I have to say, I, I want to get your guys' perspective on Dan, right? Because Dan has a quote early on where he says, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. And literally 10 minutes later, he's arrested for drunk driving. Um, <laughs> I feel like Earl, of all the people, the three of you, gets what Dan is really like. Maybe one little mistake, but he gets it, right? How do each of your characters view Dan? How do you view Dan? Um, to me, watching the show, I feel like if there was a quote-unquote villain, he's that guy for me. Um, how do each of you see, see Dan? Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, you know, <laughs> Earl Brooker, you know, he's a detective, right? He's on the streets. He's dealing with these people that, you know, that he has to arrest. And then he has to go and beg the, the deputy district attorney to try his cases when he's out there, you know, risking life and limb. Well, my guy's in there wearing a suit with a chip on his shoulder acting like he's God. So that's, that's Earl Brooker's perspective of Dan. And, uh, yeah, you nailed it. Thank you. Mike, uh, I, I wanted to ask, I'm sorry, Toby, I wanted to ask you, uh, Mike's relationship, um, is his loyalty to Dan or is it to justice, you think, or is it both? You know, it has to be to Dan first. I've thought about that. It's, it's, he's, he wants to prove this right and stay with the justice of it, but he's not going to work that hard if it's just another person. I think because it's Dan and because that relationship is the most important relationship in his life. Uh, he sees this through to the end, and if it kills him, it's going to kill him. But he has to see this through for his buddy. Thank and you he, that. you know, and and he wants to set the record straight. But first, it's to it's to exonerate his friend.